Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to use Bomomo, okay? And it's the really cool app with a weird name. So, um, an artist came up with this and it's a pretty cool thing. There's a lot of different tools here and I'm gonna give you a little demo of how each one works. So, I'm gonna go ahead and use the first one. And as you can see, you can move the cursor all around and it totally changes things as you go. So you end up with a different look with each swipe. Sometimes it goes fat, sometimes it goes skinny. All right, and we're gonna erase. You see how I erased it down here? And we're gonna go to the second tool. And here, we're gonna see that this makes different types of brush strokes. And it doesn't matter which way you go, they all look like they're going to be vertical. Okay, it's a different look. Erase, we'll try the next one. This one here. This one here appears to be doing, perhaps is doing nothing. Yours may differ. All right, I'll try the next one. The next one here. Here, ooh, these are going in all sorts of crazy directions. And it looks like it began from where I originally clicked. So you can keep on making movements and it'll make those little cursors do all sorts of crazy things. So that's pretty cool. Let's try the next one. Next one right here. And let's see, ooh. Now those are kind of pastel soft colors and they're doing all sorts of nice curvy things. And they all seem to be liking to go in diagonal lines. All right, let's try another one. Next one here, ooh. And these are all circles and they're coming out kind of as radial circles. So all concentric. You can kind of click to make circles. That would give you a cool look. I think I could have a lot of fun with that one. And the longer you click, the longer it makes it. So I'm going to try another one. Next one here. Ooh. All right. This looks like it likes to make X's. Two different diagonals. And then every time you click, you can start a new X. That might be very fun. All right. Next, okay, this one here, and interesting. That almost makes like flowers, but you gotta move it. Very cool, also circular. Let's try another one. Ooh, that's kind of like a bouncy kind of lines. Almost like little roller coasters. Very cool. All right, next, here we go. Oh, these kind of shoot out in different ways. Very fun. Let's try another one. Ooh, these are like little spotted bits all over. Let's try another one. Ooh, that's pretty nifty. Look at that, it's making the different lines and stuff and ooh, and dragging them. Ooh, I like that one. Very cool. Okay, that, I think that one's a real winner. All right, next. Ooh, ooh, that's fun. That's fun just to watch. You can get a video of that. All right. And then here, let's try this one. Little bits. Almost like pointillism. Could have a lot of fun with that. You know what? When I just said pointillism, I just came up with an idea. You know what? You Ooh, and they can go different sizes too. Um, you know, you could save one of these and then bring it into a different program and then have fun with it as well. Okay, stop, stop. All right, new one. All right. Ooh, that's pretty nifty. Looks like 
little things inside of computers. All right, next one. Ooh, 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 that one's fun. Okay, this one's a big winner in my book. Um, and plus, it's super fun to watch. All right, let's try another one. This is the fourth to last, so we don't have much more to go. All right, there we go. That's pretty nifty. It looks like it's based on circles. And then, oh, I bet this is going to be a good one. Whoa. All right, that's pretty cool. And then second to last. Ooh, those all come out. Are we going to stay one color? Interesting. We'll stay, ooh, no, started doing black and then orange. Maybe it'll do a different color each time you click. Maybe it'll just stay black and orange and red. Pretty cool. And then our final one, our final, ooh, hexagon, right? Is that a hexagon? I think it's hexagon. It's pretty fun. A lot of this, you know, you're really controlling with just moving it around and then <laughs> and then um, making sure that you click again or you just hold it down. Look at this one's pretty awesome if you just hold it down. Nifty. Okay, so let's say I want to save something. Let's say I've done one and I'm like, oh my God, it's so awesome. I need to save it. So what you're going to do is you can come over here and you can save it as a high quality ping. You can save it normally. So you, I think you should probably like maybe save it normal unless you're using it like for an art project that your teachers told you you need to save it really well for and then save it here. Okay. And then let's see. Okay. It saved it. It's going to see down here. I don't know if you can see it. Um, it saved it as the Momo, like, and it gives it a randomized number, it looks like, as a JPEG. And that's going to show up in your downloads folder. So if you need to, like, get it and add on to it or get it and link it to your assignment or whatever, that's where it's going to be in your downloads folder. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching, and we'll see you again soon. Bye.